Welcome to the Bentley Systems Training Course, where you will learn how to optimize post-tensioned concrete slabs in RAM concept. In this video, we will show you how to create optimizable profile polylines for a banded tendon layout. For this particular training, our banded tendon layout is in the latitude, direction, and all optimizable objects must be placed on the tendon parameters plans. So we've already located this layer in our RAM concept model, and we're ready to define our optimizable profile polylines. To begin this process, we will define their properties by going to the layer-specific toolbar and double-clicking on the profile polyline icon. Here we will enter our information and we're going to start by defining our support polylines. We're going to enter the top cover of 1.25 inches. Next we're going to go to the optimization tab where you have the option to instruct RAM concept to optimize the location of the support polylines or to manually specify them. For this exercise we're going to ask the program or instruct the program that we want to manually specify the location for the support polylines, so we will unselect this checkbox. Towards the end of the video, we will explain the difference between our support and our span polylines and explain why we may choose to either optimize or manually specify their locations. Once we've entered the properties, we can go ahead and click OK. Now with the tool still active, we are ready to create our support polylines, which for this exercise we will create along grid lines C, D, E, and F. So basically all of your interior spans. Now along grid line C, our banded tendons are going to be crossing this plane. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at grid intersection C, 2.5, and then I will go up to grid intersection C 5.5. Once I'm done, I'm going to right click and hit enter to finish the profile polyline. Now end it, any banded tendon polyline that crosses this line will be set at that particular elevation. I'm not going to draw that line through my end base because as they exit the slab I would like them to exit at mid depth which the program will automatically do through the calculation. So let's go ahead and complete this process and I'm going to create another polyline along grid lines D and I'm going to draw this to click at the edge of slab and I will repeat this process for the additional lines. Again, anytime a banded tendon polyline crosses one of these lines, it will set that as its elevation. Now that we've created our support profile polylines, we're ready to enter our span profile polylines. And to begin that process, we're going to go ahead and redefine our properties. So I'm going to double click on this icon again. I'm going to tell the program I am working on a span polyline, and then I'm going to enter its elevation from the bottom cover. Now this time, when I go to the optimization tab, I'm going to ask the program to optimize the span locations, and I'm going to give a minimum and maximum elevation of 1 inches and 7 inches, respectively. Once I'm done, let's go ahead and click OK, and we are ready to start modeling our span polylines. And I'm going to create a span polyline along grid lines B.5, C.5, along D.5, E.5, and F.5. So I'll go ahead and start creating them, and I'm going to click on my edge of slab. Now what you're going to notice is visually RAM concept will create span and support polylines differently. 
Span polylines will be dashed and support polylines are solid lines just to give you the visual advantage of being able to see the difference. Now for this model, we have manually specified the location for the banded tendons at the support location, while we have also requested that RAM concept optimize the location for the banded tendons at the span locations. To keep reinforcement details standard and for ease of construction, the tendons typically placed at maximum drape over the columns and will not be optimized. One exception to this rule may be over cantilevered supports where the tendons are often lowered for load balancing. In this case, the support polylines may be lowered and optimized accordingly. Now to keep the details standard and for ease of construction, the tendons are typically placed at the maximum drape over the columns, which is why we chose to manually specify those locations in this exercise. In addition, it's important to note that RAM concept will automatically place the banded tendons at the mid-depth of slab whenever the tendons exit the slab. So around slab openings or edge of slabs, the tendons are automatically going to be exited at the mid-depth of the slab. Now you may want to pay special attention to these areas if you have any drop caps adjacent to where the tendons are exiting the slab or perimeter beams as you may need to create additional tendon parameters in those locations in case you want to control where the tendon exits the slab if you do not intend for it to exit at the mid-depth of the slab. Now that we've created our, all of our profile polylines for our banded tendon, let's also discuss what the program will do during the optimization. Now since the same Let's take a look at our span profile polylines, for example, which are optimizable objects. Now, when we go ahead and perform the optimization, since the same span tendon lines, so let's go ahead and highlight them on our screen. Since the same polyline is intersecting multiple band and tendon lines, when the optimization is performed, all of these banded tendons will be placed at the same location since they represent a single optimizable object. This may not lead to the most optimized solution for your PT slab, so you may want to consider cutting your span polylines as they cross different lines to allow the program to optimize this banded tendon lines without consideration of any of the adjacent ones. So let's go ahead and ask the program to do that for us. And if I go to my layer specific toolbar, I'm going to notice the tool that we had used to split our banded tendon polyline. And if I hold down that tool, I can see that there's an additional tool, split a profile polyline. Let's go ahead and turn that on. If I draw lines across the slab, it will go ahead and split those lines automatically, which will allow RAM concept to perform its optimization for each banded tendon line without necessarily having to find a solution that works for every single banded tendon line at the same location. Now at this point, we have finished modeling our profile polylines for our banded direction. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.